hello once again. Welcome to the Snyder Middlesworth Natural Area here in deep in the Bald Eagle State Forest of Central Pennsylvania. This is a very special place. It's one of the rare intact ecosystems here in Pennsylvania that contains an old growth forest, land trees that were never lumbered as far as any known record can tell in their history. We're going to be checking this place out today and walking along the path here and I'll be telling you more about this place as we go. As we continue along the trail here, following up Swift Run, what I am witnessing is just saddening. So many of the large trees are lying fallen on the ground and this place has the feel of a cemetery or a grave. These uh, once mighty trees, some succumbed to old age, certainly, but many to do to disease. And uh, this forest doesn't seem to have the natural characteristics of a typical old growth forest. It is a forest in severe decline. I want to read you a passage from my guidebook the Sierra Club Guide to the Ancient Forests of the Northeast, written by Bruce Kirchner and Robert T. Leverett, pioneers in the uh, field of old growth research in the Eastern United States. It says of Snyder's Middlesworth Natural Area, time stands still in the Snyder Middlesworth Natural, Natural Area. In this solemn place, Hallowed white pines soar above a sparkling clear brook in one of the Northeast's best primeval forests. It is easy to feel poetic here, where you will find Pennsylvania's tallest hemlock towering at 142.8 feet. Some of the hemlocks here grow up to 48 inches in diameter, and they range in age from 250 to 500 years old. Ancient yellow and black birches and red maples grow here too surrounded by lush carpets of moss covering rocks, logs, and trees along the brook. Many sections of the trail here are overgrown and that would not normally be the case in a typical old growth ecosystem, but all of the downed trees create openings in the canopy for sun to reach the ground floor and it causes these sucker plants and trees that are not typically part of this ecosystem to encroach on the trails and spread all through the understory.
one thing I've learned in my time filming uh, natural landscapes and forests is that it can be very difficult at times to show the scale and size of, of, of trees um, when you don't really have anything to compare them against. But it's absolutely heartbreaking to see all of these huge, huge trees and looking up and they're just skeletons, sentinels into the sky. This place must have been an amazing, amazing place at one point. At this point, I'm going to turn around and we have been walking up the Swift Trail. We passed a bridge about a third of a mile back uh, that was in bad condition, but we're going to try to cross the creek and pick up a trail on the other side known as the Hemlock Trail and head back to the car. We're now on Hemlock Trail and we're above the creek on the other side from where we started. And this trail is somewhat overgrown as well. You can tell this area just doesn't get much use. It lends to that sad feel here. my friends well that's going to do it here from the Snyder Middlesworth natural area in the Bald Eagle State Forest I want to say thank you for joining me on another adventure uh, this was a tough one today um, I had heard so many good things about this place and this is an example of an ecosystem in decline uh, it was difficult to see the once magnificent trees uh, standing dead or fallen on the ground but death is part of the cycle of life and uh, what can you say you know thank you for joining me here and until next time I'll see you on the trail I appreciate you I thank you I'll see you again next time guys take care gator out